So could you explain what that referral process looks like? Yeah, the child, I mean, I, I, I don't mind, uh, we've got a little time, I don't mind reading it if you'd like, uh, but it basically says a child welfare service provider who declines to provide a child welfare service as authorized by this section shall provide to the person seeking the service uh, written information directing a person to a, a web page, tell you what, I won't read, other information, I'm skipping a little bit, other information sources that identify other providers, um, or they can, too, refer the applicant to another licensed child welfare service provider who provides the denied service, or three, they can refer the applicant to the department. Oh, thank you. And I have, uh, yeah, I, I, have, I have worked with some of the members, and I have said there's, there's actually were three different versions, and any of the three of them were acceptable. Um, I mean. So this person basically either directs them to, the, to an Internet website or hands them a piece of paper or some, right. some flyer or something, but doesn't make a phone call or make sure they connect or any other sort of way. Um, my concern is that you might lose, I know I do this when somebody calls my office and they should right. have called the city council office. My office calls the city council's office and, and says, hey, we've got our constituent here and they have this kind of service and they connect them. But you're, right. in, according to this amendment, you're just passing them something right. you're, yeah, you're, you're, you're passively letting them know where to go and, and again I think, I think uh, by and large I think this, these events won't happen very much but yeah you're you're saying here, here's the information you are not driving them over to the other person you're you're saying here here's the information some people may do it very nicely some people may not do it as nicely but this is this is what we would require in statute okay but, but so it's a passive action um, and it's when a, you talk I mean, about I would say it's an act I mean it's a active action, but it's not Well, we've a given a service provider a, a very heavy responsibility, and then that service provider is just saying this to someone or, or here, here's where you can find it okay. on the Internet. That's basically what your amendment says, okay. correct? Would you, would you, I don't mean to smart, would you, do you, oh, well, actually, never mind. So, my concern, I had, I had a question about this. Um, the would it, would it, oh, would it, when you would it have be a more comfortable with that? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You, t you say provide to the person seeking the service. Person means the child or person means the foster parents? No, the, the, uh, the foster, potential foster, the, foster the parents. The foster parents. I don't, I, don't really, I don't believe there's any cases where a child's ever going to be denied a service. I don't. Okay. So this is the foster parent coming to a religious organization that is now going to claim... A, a sincerely held belief. And, and, and again, this is, this, is not change, this is not really changing where we are today. They are able to do this today. Pardon? Oh, no, I can't, I can't hear you. This is, this is not changing where we are today. They are able to do this today. This, this is making it clear in state law that they can, but this is not changing where we are today. Well, if, if we can do it today, why are you putting it in an amendment? Well, as I, as I outlined in my, actually, I guess it was an answer to Representative Howard, uh, this basically makes it a lot cleaner where you're not tied up in court proving that you have the ability to decline services. This allows you to go straight to the court and say, um, okay. it, you don't have to go all the way through the RIFRA steps. This makes it much quicker. Well, let me and ask it, you it, that. It really about, gives, security, can, it gives security to those pr can providers. You, can you explain more about those, the uh, litigation that you keep referring to? Because I'm only aware of one case. What, what, are the, what are the cases that well, you keep referring to? Thanf thankfully, at this point, most of the cases or most of the places that have closed down have been in other states. Uh, I, I don't remember all of them, but there were five different states. In other states, in, not here? Not, not most here. Of the cases? Not here yet. There, ha there, ha there have been uh, federal cases that, that have happened here. Um, and really what we're trying to do is prevent any of those from happening and, and give some amount of security. And I think the practical result, again, of all of this is that I believe you're going to have providers that have already testified that they are going to be adding capacity if we will give them some amount of protection. And, and, and despite the, the discussions in the media, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get more providers of all types. There's nothing in here that, that, that keeps anybody out. Well, and my concern with that is that kids that end up in the foster care system a lot of times are rejected by their families because of something that their families don't agree with. Right. It and could be their sexual orientation. It could be sure. uh, sexual identity, all kinds of stuff. And so, and so uh, 
if, if you have a religious organization that doesn't, that has a sincerely held belief that gay children or transgender children are, are not um, of, of within the realm of their faith, and I mean, and, we're and further again, casting the more, these children the, the, off well, into, the, the, into the, the, a, the more, we're, we're put, putting them more in a corner, the, making the, it more difficult for them to be adopted the, and the, foster care. Cared for. The more the more homes that we can get, the more homes that we can get of all shapes, sizes, colors, ethnicities, the more we can get of any, the better it is for the child. Okay? All I'm trying to do is remove a hindrance for one particular section. If there are other hindrances to getting people, no matter what their denomination is, no matter what their background is, then let's bring those to the House floor and let's get rid of the things that are impeding people from providing uh, answers to the crisis that we're in. Well, this think, is one think, solution for a particular set of people that I think doesn't you're going hurt to get, any other set of people. I think you will get the kids so that Senator are Leach more adoptable adopted, but you'll have a problem with those that well we already have a problem sustained. with.